Welcome, I'm the Kaiju no Kami, and today I had the great displeasure of waking up to this. What baffles me is I have reviewed both Ranger and Die Ranger, and Toei had claimed the videos for monetization, but they didn't remove them. They showed footage that was more than 30 seconds long, or about 30 seconds, and just monetized them and blocked them from Japan to be able to see them. Yet... This review that I do everything by fair use, and Toei just takes it down without a rhyme, reason, or anything about it. They just do it, give me a strike. I have no idea why. YouTube doesn't tell me why. It's just, they're gone. My Jewel Drew review violated no copyright infringement, yet Toei pulled the video and gave me a strike without any rhyme or reason. Now, I don't understand what is wrong with Toei. They, it's like Japanese companies just don't understand how fair use works in the U.S. I am an avid buyer of official products. I have these here, but that's not all. I've got all of Gal Ranger and stuff. I've got these. 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 And these. I support the official releases when I can and if I have the money to do so. If I love a series enough, I love supporting the release. I love reviewing these series because I love these series. Doing something like this takes away the fun of reviewing it. All it does is add frustration and makes you not want to do it. And I'm not the only one that has had an issue as Toei just recently shut down Team 4 Star's entire channel last week. Like I said, this just goes to show that Toei does not care about what fair use is and will shut down anyone they feel fit to do so, and YouTube's current policy permits them to do so without any proof. Now, another thing is though, it isn't just Japanese companies. Even American companies in general don't seem to want to play by the rules and they take advantage of what they can. Warner Brothers is majorly abusing this system as they have claimed my best and worst movies of 2015 videos for 18 seconds of footage from the movie trailers of Mad Max and Jupiter Ascending when the trailers are given for public use. Even my convention panel recordings have been claimed for music or sound heard during my presentation. Yes, World Events Production has claimed my Voltron vs. Golion panel because it has Peter Collins' voice in it from the Voltron opening. From uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend. The legend of Voltron. I'm clearly doing a presentation. But that's what they care more about anything else, and then they have claimed that video for monetization. Someone representing Queen have claimed for monetization my panel footage for my Common Rider, the original Car Games on Motorcycles video. Even though you can hear people talking during the video, you can hear the, me giving a presentation. They don't care. They want to make money off something that is completely not their own product. I haven't said anything because you know what? At that time, point in time, fine, whatever. However, this is getting ridiculous. And this is getting out of hand. And it just goes to show that YouTube doesn't care. Well, what does this mean for my channel? A lot of frustration. And as of right now, I can't post any videos longer than 15 minutes. As of right now, I will continue Mothra Madness as planned. However, each review for the Rebirth of Mothra Trilogy is going to have to be split up into two videos. Hopefully that will change soon and I can go back to normal length. Unfortunately though, this means I can't continue to review Juoger as I had planned to do so for the entire year. I just, I need this fixed first. I just can't take a chance of getting another strike from Toei at this time. Hopefully this circus act will be fixed before Cocky Ranger comes out in May so that I can actually review that series without fear of having my video deleted or my channel deleted because of it. I love the workshop Factory has put in with Die Ranger and Ranger. I had so much fun reviewing those two series. I want to keep doing it. But what's the point if my video is going to just be edited because... 
because Tully wants to be a douche about it. Hell, even with my Jewelry review, it's not like I even say anything negative. I gave the first two episodes high praises for impre being impressive for the first two episodes. I mean, would you rather I reviewed it like this? What are you doing, Bandora? We will stop you. Ah, you can't stop me at all. Ha 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 ha. I am invincible, foolish Jew Rangers. I could do reviews like that and just say, oh, this is what happened in the episode. However, if a big channels like Team Four Star and Channel Awesome go through something like this, and they have massive problems and have to spend nearly a month to get a response to get their channel fixed, how is someone like me, who's at the very bottom of the totem pole, even supposed to stand a chance? What's the point? As content creators, we just need something, be it better representation or an alternative to YouTube. Yes, I understand there are other sites you could use, such as Dailymotion, Vimeo, Vivo, and so forth, many, many others, but they don't provide the same quality as YouTube. You can't really get them looking like HD. The commercial breaks on Daily Motion are out of control. One problem with Daily Motion is they may just delete your video out of the blue, not even notify you. You just go on there, look to see if anyone's responding with comments, and your video's not even there as if you never posted it. You try to find out why, and all you're told is it was deleted because you broke the user agreement, but they don't tell you how or why. What you did to break it, it's just gone. There have been a lot of great ideas floating around, be it from Jim Sterling, Nostalgia Critic, Team Four Star, and so forth, but YouTube just does not seem to care. They keep saying they care, but they don't should do anything to show that they care. And after all, where would YouTube be today if it wasn't for the content creators, the fans, everyone who was willing to give their money into YouTube? Where would they be? They would just be another site that failed. So with that said, come on, Toei. Where's the fair use? Really? You're better than this. Well, until next time, bye.